everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina, and today for our Crate Kits um, tutorial, we're going to be using the Sure, Cru sure Cuts A Lot software. Um, I'm using the Mac version for Sure Cuts A Lot 2, and I'm just going to show you a little project I did um, using the new single line fonts that the Crate Kits um, website has available on their website. And so let's get started. The first thing I did was um, started with uh, some basic shapes uh, for my shape library and I decided to go with the summer shapes and I have a couple of different ones I'm going to use so I'm just going to add these right to my mat here and there's a couple of different ones I'm using. I use the um, the pale, the uh, pair of flip flops the, let's see, the shovel, the sun, the umbrella, as well as from the basic shapes, um, let's see, which one was it? Oh no, sorry, not the basic shapes. From the tags, signs, and banners, I used this one. So, let me just, whoop, sorry about that, go ahead and select my move tool and start moving my stuff around on my mat here. Okay, let's see. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I want to resize my pail here, so I'm just going to use the little uh, thing right here and just move, uh, make my pail a little larger. And then for my flip-flops, I kind of left those the size they are, but what I did was, if you select that image and go up to Object, Break Apart, you can actually remove the center part to the flip-flop. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select, um, select them and copy-paste them. Okay. So I have two pairs because I'm going to actually create a layer to these. So for this one, I'm going to select it, go to Object, Break Apart, and then delete the middle sections so I have a background to my flip-flop. For my banner here, I'm just going to kind of expand that one a little bit just like that. And same thing with my shovel and my umbrella, which I'm going to make pretty large. So let me just zoom out here. And move this down to the bottom of my mat. I'm going to zoom out one more time. Now I'm very new to the Sure Cuts A Lot software, so Bear with me because I am still learning it myself as well. Okay, for the sun, what I'm going to do with this is just kind of expand that as well. And then I'm going to select it and break it apart. And I'm going to remove um, this center uh, circle. And then I'm going to select the middle circle and move that outside of the um, sun because I'm going to cut that in two different colors. So now what I'm going to do is start head, go ahead and start using my um, the new single line font and I'm going to go ahead and add a layer and that adds a box right down here and this one's green and now everything I do from here is going to be green so I'm going to go over and select my text tool come over to my fonts and I'm going to look for my Cricut's fonts and we're going to go, it's Crickets Sans Serif. And oh, I'm going to probably hop up into that corner I do that. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little phrase right here. And I'm going to first go by enlarging my screen so I can see what I'm doing. And select a text box. And this is going to say Summer 2008. Oops. And then again, I'm going to use my move tool, select that, 
No, I gotta move my flip flops so they don't keep getting in there. Well, my flip flops I broke apart, so they're gonna go in two pieces. Um, all right, now I'm gonna go ahead and select my 2008, and I'm gonna group that together. It makes it a little easier to move, and then I can also adjust the size at the same time. So I'm going to make this small enough to go inside my pail. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make my pail a little larger. Okay. And I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to break this apart again. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it just like that. So now when I go to um, run this through my Cricut, I can cut with the red and use my Cricut's jelly pens to write out the word Summer 2008. And what I like about these single line fonts is that it's not going to create um, a two line, it's just going to create a single line. So, Alright, so let's go over to here, I'm going to select my text box again. and inside here, what I'm doing is working on a layout for um, a couple pictures from a trip to our lake that we took. So those are going to go right inside here, just like that. Okay, and then down on my sun, In the center part here, I'm going to put, scroll that in here, fun in the sun. So I'm going to move that over to here, and the sun over to here. And then I'm just going to resize them to fit inside my circle here. Just like that. So now when I go to cut out on my Cricut, I can select the layers that I want to cut. So I'm going to hide the green layer because I'm going to cut with that and see that removes all of the um, the letters that I wrote out and then when I'm ready to use the um, the gel pens I hide the red layer and now what will only cut is the the green green section which is all the lettering and I can insert my Cricut's jelly pens so let me show you how I put together my layout Okay, so I have all my pieces cut out. We're going to go ahead and assemble all of our pieces. And I'm going to start off by just working on my... Um, well, first, this is my layout. This would be my 12 by 12 piece of uh, pattern paper that I'm going to use as my background. But first, I want to go ahead and put together my flip-flops. And I'm just using a two-way glue pen for that. Okay, so those are my flip-flops. This is my sun that I did. And fun in the sun is what I put in the center, so I'm just going to adhere that right down to the center of my sun. And this is the piece that I broke apart from on the shirt, using the Sure Cuts A Lot software. So there we go. And then I also cut out, and I didn't show this, but I, I did a shadow feature for the um, the lake. So I did that, so I'm just going to adhere that piece down. And then I also have my umbrella and my little pail and shovel. So let's go ahead and put together our layout. Alright, so here's my 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. 
I'm going to include um, this little piece on the bottom. This is a piece of craft uh, cardstock that I cut and um, I think it was about three inches and then I just tore it to make it look like the beach or sand on the side of the lake because we do have a little sandy area on the side of our lake. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that right down to the bottom. like that. And then let's see what do I want to put up here first. I'm going to go ahead and put my little title of my, my layout here right here in this top corner. And then my sun is going to go over in the other corner. It's going to go right up here. Okay. And then, let's see, I cut a piece of orange cardstock, and this is cut at uh, four and a quarter by six and a quarter, so I could put a four by six piece, or four by six picture on it. And I'm just going to put this right here. Actually, I'm going to put it right like that. And then I have my, my pail and my umbrella with my little flip flop. So I'm just going to decide here how I want this laid out. So I think I'm going to put it just like this. Okay, I'm going to start with my um, my umbrella. Hear that down right here. Nice little beach umbrella. And then my flip flops. And then my little pail and shovel. And I love how I was able to use the um, Cricut's single line fonts to create my little phrases and titles and stuff on my layout. So check it out. You can download the fonts from the Cric Cricut's website, which is www.cricuts.com, C R I K I T S. And um, super fun to play with. So Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christina. See you next time. Bye.